نحمد و نسلی علی رسول کریم اما بعد فاؤز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی اللہم جعل عملی کلہ صالحہ و جعل ہو لی وجہ کا خالصہ ولا تجعل لی احد فی اشیعہ الحمدللہ how uh, we have uh, finished up till 110 aya and let's a little key recap for uh, our ayas that uh, what we need to do i don't know why I was not sharing something happened anyways now it's good Alhamdulillah. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was talking to us in this surah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent prophets and sent messengers to give us the proper, proper deen and to make us understand what we have to do and what we don't have to do. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that you are khairukum, you are the best ummah and you may become among the salihin and muttaqin. How can you become among the salihin? Be doing the three things that you hasten, you run towards the good. The ones who will run and the ones number two is to for, uh, forbid the munkar and number three is ya maruna bil maruf that you recognize the right thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that whether it's a reward, the reward will be given to you and will be not be denied to you for what you are doing. And you will be Allah conscious, you will adopt taqwa, you will be safeguard, you will safeguard yourself. In Allah zina kafaru, but the ones who, uh, who denied the truth, they didn't want to believe. They were disbelievers. Their, their wealth nor their children will ever be of any help or they will be not be able to protect them from the, from the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we did up till here and then uh, from 115, let's start. Ayah number 115, we, we have to start from here now. Inna allazina kafaru. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first of all told us the three things that a muttaqi, uh, an Allah conscious and a saleh person will do. He will, he will do all the three things which were mentioned before. But the ones who will deny, they will they will get the punishment. This was 116 ayah. Now, after explaining these three main categories and the ones who run towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the ones who forbid the, the wrong, the, they will avoid themselves from the sins. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives, gives, a, gives an example. Masalu, masalu example, ma yun fikun, the ones who spend nafaka, noon, fa, kaf, Noon, fa, and qaf is the root word. The ones who spend, the, spend, uh, the ones who spend freely on others. Nafak is like a tunnel. From one side it comes in, the other side it goes out. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the ones who spend, they, they have their money from one side and they give away from the other side. Fi hazi hayat dunya in this life of the of the world kamasali is like is like whose whose example like a wind fiha in it sirun is very cold like a wind is blowing and it's very cold wind a sabat it reaches sir sad sad rara means very cold and very bitter a sabat it reaches harsa the harvest and the field harsa Hars is the field, the harvest. 
there is a green harvest and the cold winds blows qaumin a nation zalamu qaum is a nation the people a group of people zalamu they did wrong they did injustice anfusahum to themselves fa ahlakat halaka ha lam kaf halakat is to destroy halaka means uh, that it ev everything vanishes everything is destroyed so allah subhanahu wa taala gives the example of the ones who do kufr the ones who don't believe in allah subhanahu wa taala that a freezing wind will strike them and like it destroys the whole field it's like destroying themselves it is the lack of the faith they don't believe in what allah subhanahu wa taala has sent them they don't want to uh except they don't want to pray they don't want to uh, uh, to be obedient to allah subhanahu wa taala allah says that it is the lack of the faith which makes them them their all their rewards nullified and void wa ma zalamahum because they did zulm on themselves wa ma zalamahum allah allah didn't do anything wrong on them they should not blame if they will get into problem or they get into a trouble they should not blame allah subhanahu wa taala because they are the ones who didn't believed allah walakin but anfusahum they they were wrong they were in justice they were doing zulm anfusahum yaslimun they were doing zulm on their themselves because they didn't be believe in allah's um allah's teachings allah's uh, commands whatever allah was giving them they didn't try to accept they didn't try to believe they were they were in denial they were in denial all the time that okay it will happen let it be what will what will ha happen nothing serious will happen okay they keep on thinking like this so in this aya especially the example of what they spend in the life of this world is like that of a wind accompanied with frost with frost with uh, with the chill which which uh, gets to the harvest of the people who wrong themselves and lays it to waste it's all is wasted what they spend it is not allah who wrong them rather it is they who themselves wrong themselves you know whether they are because here the word harvest is used a field harvest in the field it refers to this life which resembles of a field of cultivation the harvest of which one will reap in the world to come in the next world people don't believe in the next world but allah subhanahu wa taala is telling us that if you don't believe in allah if you are not doing anything for allah because people we were talking about people ashabun people of the companions of ashabun nar the people the ones who will be the camp, um, camp, um, sorry companions of hell fire they will be staying there forever their example allah subhanahu wa taala is saying the ones who don't believe in allah who don't want to accept what allah subhanahu wa taala is saying and they have their own ways of living then whatever they are spending here whether they are spending on their children whether they are spending on on anything it's like they are they they are spending but there's there this um it's like the wind which comes which refers to her superficial appearance of righteousness and for the sake of which unbelievers spend their wealth and they spend as a charitable cause but it is not accepted the expression is like they it's like a frost indicates their lack of true faith and their failure to follow the for follow the laws of allah subhanahu wa taala as a result of which their entire life has gone astray their entire life has has no meanings by means of the uh, of these things 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells on the other hand that whatever you harvest or whatever you you cut in this field in, in this field of life Allah gives us like we, if we give us the charity Allah give us the rewards in the hereafter but for them because Allah is the Lord and the master of the man as well as of all that man owns and the world in which he lives if a man either does not recognize the tawheed, the sovereignty, the oneness of his Lord and he disobeys Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and disobeys the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then his actions become crimes for which he deserves to be to be given a punishment. His acts of charity or his spending on Allah's sake though he's thinking that he's spending but that charity is not acceptable because he is not he will not get, get any reward for that thing. Another ayah, ayah number 118, Allah SWT says, Ya la O oh, who you believe, la do not, tattakhizu you make, you adopt, bitana as a friend, batan, baat, ta noon, batan is called your stomach, batan is your, your stomach, your belly, so Allah is saying, Oh, Ya Yuhallazina Amanu. Now he comes again back to the believers. He says, Believers, do not take your friends or you not imitate your friends, those who are not of your kind. Bitana, don't make friends, mindunikum, from uh, besides other than you. Don't make friends like. O who believer, do not make intimate friendships, your close friendships, with any but your own people. Min dunikum, from your own, besides other than, other than you, yourself. La ya'lunakum, la, do not. Ya'lunakum, laun, la, lam, vaw, noon. Laun is color. They will refrain you. They, they, those who are not of your kind, don't make them spend. They spare no effort to injure you. They were khabala corruption. Khabal, khabba, lam is the root word. Khabal is to ruin, to corrupt, corrupt you or destroy you. They will refrain or they will fail for you all to destroy you or that the the unbelievers will not miss any opportunity to corrupt, corrupt you. They will not they will not spare no effort to injure you, to harm you, to ruin you, to, to destroy you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, what do they wished they loved? What they wished? What? Wow, dal, dal, what? What is uh, love Vadud is Allah's name he's the one who is most loved he's, he gives the love so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Ma anittum, that which you all suffered that indeed they love all that distress distresses you and they they wish they love to what Put you into difficulty. Anittum. Kad badat. Badati. Bada. Badatil bagda'u. Kad badatil bagda'u. In fact, it appears. Badat is like making something new. Bada. Bada. Badat means to make, to appear something. So, in fact, Allah SWT says, their hatred is clearly manifest. Their books. Ba. Gain. Dot. Their hatred. Min afwahihim from their mouths. Indeed, they love all the dis that dresses, distresses you, with which harms you, and their hatred is clearly, clearly shown in what they say, and what, and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala is now emphasizing again, wama tohfi, and what they conceal, what they hide, sudur hum, sadar swadra, 
Dal ra is the root word. Sadar mi khafi khafa. Ya khafi is to hide, to conceal. Whatever they hide in their breast, they're in their hearts, they conceal is akbar is greater. Whatever they have hidden inside their hearts is much greater. From their heart, inside in their heart is, is their hatred, the books, and to harm others. Actually, I'm, I'm going just, just going to explain what was going on. And now, Qad bayyanna, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in fact, we expressed, we clearly indicated lakum, lakum for you, ayati. Ayati, Allah's ayat, Allah's signs, Allah's verses in kuntum taqilun. If you were taqilun, you understood. If you could understand. If only you could understand the danger of their intimacy. Now we have made our messages clear to you through, through his ayah. Ayat are two types of ayahs. One is qawni and one is sharai. Qawni ayat is you can clearly see the signs in the skies and the earth and the, it's obvious. And then there are the ayahs, the verses of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that believers do not take your best friendship, the closest friends, friends, those who are not of your kind. They spare no effort to injure you. Indeed, they love all that which distresses you, which hurts you, which uh, really like, uh, which harms you. Their hatred is clearly manifested in what they say. It's in their heart and what their, their inside, in sadur, their chest, conceal is even greater. Now we have made our messages clear to you. The message is given to you if only you can understand. So friends, what type of friends Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us to make? We, we are only going, doing, going to do two, uh, two ayahs. And then I will continue with this, the next, because the, you know, the Jews living on the outskirts of Medina had long enjoyed friendly relations with the two tribes of Aus and Khazraj. Khazraj. They were two tribes. They were two tribes living in Medina. In the first place, this was the result of relations between individuals. Later, they were bound by ties of neighbor, neighborhood. And there were uh, many covenants or ele uh, elegances as a result of tribal relationships. The interrelationship, tribal in interrelationship was there. Even after the people of Aus and Khazraj, they embraced Islam, they became Muslims. They maintained their old, old relationship with the Jews and continued to treat them with the same warmth and love. So the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala here said that, here, that whatever they have in their heart was not the truth. Now the Prophet sallallahu when he came and he started working on his mission, his mission was given far and, and it was too intense. They, they were hurt by that. They didn't want it to accept it. That why the Prophet ﷺ came, came, into, uh, came into their tribe. Why not into our tribe? Why not uh, Bani Israel? Because all prophets became before that came into Bani Israel. And now, why Bani Ismail? Why now in Bani Ismail? So they had this grudge inside them. And because of that, they hated Rasulullah And towards this mission, they were not sincere. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, now out, um, outwardly, the Jews maintained the same terms of friendship with the helpers, the Ansar, as before. But at, at heart, in their hearts, they had become their, their swear enemies. They made the best use of this 
friendship and remained constantly on the lookout of opportunities to create problems, to, to create facade, to, uh, to harm Muslims. So, and they had secrets against the Muslim. And they, they kept it in their heart, those grudges. And they were not loyal or they are not faithful to them. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala warns the Muslims to note this hypocrisy and take it seriously that they are not your best friends. Always make best friends among yourself, among your own people. Make intimate friends. Friendship always with those who are from your clan, from your people, not from any other uh, uh, other people. So this was a great message for us also that oh, those who believe do not take anyone as an insider or a friendship don't give them all the all your, you know, um, uh, all your secrets. Share with them the ones who are not sincere to you, because they would not spare any effort to do any mischief or any harm. They want you to be in trouble, and this was their their uh, mission that always to put them into trouble. Because what was concealed in their hearts is far worse what they are showing. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made the signs clear to us so that we can understand. These verses were revealed in the particular background of these settlement as Aws and Sajras, uh, Khazras where they became Muslims and they had problems with the other Jews. So Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, religion was the true religion and whoever was sincere with it and they were not un they were unwilling to be sincere and loving to anyone who had said yes to the prophet prophethood and embraced islam so they outwardly went along with the same old relationship with the ansar of medina but inwardly they had turned into their enemies so that enemies the that bogs inside them allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us that apparently this friendship has no meaning. Now be careful what they are doing to you. Subhanallah. So oh those who believe do not take anyone as insider or your, you don't share, share your secrets with anybody and this, uh, this is for our lives now also. Women who get married they start talking about their own life and their people of uh, their susral and uh, in-laws to everybody this is not right do not take anyone as insider but from your own selves only talk to the one who is who is or even people who have problems who have people have um, you know because batanatan is the very powerful word a friend a confident friend one with whom secrets can be shared and batana is also like, you know, batan. Batan is used in everything, you know, zahira ma batan. The zahir is outside and batan is inside. And batana is also uh, called a dress. It's an inside part of the dress which stays close to the body. That is also called batana. So always share your secrets with the one who, who can help you. Don't start talking to each and everybody. So this is a, also Batanatan is called um, the garments, the outer part of the Zahra is it's the outer part and the inner part is touching the body, which is a lin, lining, which is called lining. This is also Batana. And there's an expression in English, hand in glove, which becomes close to this sense with, even if partly it means to be very intimate friend. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so the, the, this Arabic is such a powerful language that it says, Subhanallah, batana, batana to saub is like um, confident friend, 
one who comes to know internal secrets. That is how the word batana came, is used to carry the sense, the well-known and uh, quite reliable uh, la language of Arabic, lisanul Arabi. That's why this word explains the person, a person who is batana is the one who knows others person's secrets, has access to his affairs in which he seeks, he can seek his advice also. So always share with someone your secrets, always with someone whom you think that can advise you according, according to Quran and Sunnah. That's why Allah SWT says that a, a relationship of a husband and wife is like like libasuhun libasun. Like they are like your garments. And this is here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that batana is the inner garment. It's the inner side. So it has been uh, cleared by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that please try to make good friends among your own selves. Be careful that the ones who harm you or who are not loyal to you, you will, you will know by them. And vadud is they wished they wished ba'anittum that you put into, you are always into a difficulty. So, even about the non-Muslim who, who reside in the Islamic State or those who have good relationships, who work, work with you or who studied with you, now the teachings of Holy Quran and Prophet Wasallam is that to be careful with them. Don't be so close to them. That's why when nowadays what is happening? People are so close to the non-Muslims that they want to marry. A Muslim girl is marrying a non-Muslim. How can that be? They can never be your friends. They can be, never be your... Um, they can never share your secrets because you and they are on a, a different path. So it's the most important Instru instructions from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we should protect ourselves be in Islamic law because it's like harming your own self by being friends friendship or being so such a close friends to such uh, to, to such people making boyfriends or girlfriends with non-Muslim non-Muslim people so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in one of the hadith says Allah min zalama ma'adan that beware whoever wrongs a non-Muslim protected by the treaty or his rights or obligates him to do what is beyond his power or takes from him something without his genuine consent, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that I shall be the advocate of him, the said non-Muslim on the day of judgment. Side by side with these uh, considerations for non-Muslims. Instructions were given to Muslims that they should protect their distinct group, their entity. They should not trust enemies of Islam. And Muslims with their secrets should not share with their secrets. There are many ahadis that the ones who, who shared their uh, secrets was, was really uh, like uh, Allah SWT told them that... Um, that it's not the right thing. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam by were told by the wahi that they had shared the secret, and I remember his um, name. Uh, I'm trying to remember his name. There was one of the companions of uh, of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam who wrote a letter to uh, to the ones who went to Mecca, who migrated, uh, who, who migrated. And he was, uh, he was caught and he gave the secrets. He shared his secrets because his own family was in Mecca. So he was telling Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam secrets to them. And that uh, letter was caught. So, um, Subhanallah, if you, one of you can remember those, uh, the, uh, the names of those people, you can share me. So betraying Making such friends, making North Muslims as your friends or a boyfriends or talking to them more freely or sharing with them their your own work. This is this is not not to be uh, 
this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forb forbids us in this in this ayah. That's why I have chosen only two, two ayahs today. Why? Because Muslims are not like that. And the reason why this command has been given to us, starting from La Yunalu Nakum Kubala, that they would spare no effort to do with do mischief. And ending at in kuntum talabu, provided that you should understand all this. You should have brains to understand. Why should you make non-Muslims your friends? This text, this, this text warns Muslims that they should not take anyone other than their own Muslim brothers and sisters as their insider, as their secret friends on their affairs. For no group, no other group can understand the laws of Islam. So being, living with the non-Muslims, be my children, be very, very careful. They are always on the lookout for the opportunities to hurt mentally, spiritually to hurt you. They are always plotting to harm them in their worldly life as well as to take them away from their, uh, from their faith. So faith, the Iman is the biggest, biggest blessing on this earth. If you have faith, please, please hold on to your faith. All this is what the Muslims can see for themselves. But the ones who, who comes into the trap of shaitan, they give their hearts, they make their friends with non-Muslims and they also want to marry them. That is ridiculous. However, they are the times when they are, they they can be very cool friends. They can be very friendly with you. But one day, as Allah's, Allah's words are not, are not, are not um, uh, just making us happy and just telling us, they are warning us. Allah Almighty has pointed out who they are and what has to be done with them. Now it is up to us to understand, to not to get involved in such relationships. And the set sentence, Vaddu ma anittum is very, they want you to be in trouble, is the perfect mirror of the mental, uh, their mental sickness, I should say. And it's the depth of teaching is that no non-Muslims can ever be the real friend and well-wisher of the Muslim. Did you get it? Did you get what it, I'm saying? What did you get the from today's lesson? Subhanallah. You know, famous scholar Imam Al-Qurtubi, Rahmatullah Alay, famous scholar and commentator of the 5th century says, with marked pensive longings that contraventions of this teachings of the Quran has provided evil results of Muslims. Things have so changed these days that Jews and Christians were trusted with secrets and considered worse, trustworthy, though which they were able to prevail over the ignorant rich, the rulers and the chiefs. Even today in a state, in a state established under a particular ideology, a person who does not understand this can put them into, top, into troubles. So we have to be very, very careful where we are, where we are standing with our brains ready to understand that friendship should be only with the, with the Muslims. And this has been studied, closely studied, that they, they get into problems. Okay? So it's, uh, mashallah, two ayahs we have done. One is 117. And as I told you, these uh, four ayahs behind, I, th I think I've done it with you. Uh, Sara, we did, did we do these ayahs 110, 11 to 115? They are very, very important ayahs. Have we done them? Do you remember we've done them? 111. Okay. Good. Because I was thinking, 
because these are very powerful layers I usually do in my dars wherever I go. If you have ever have to share something, you always share with these 111 ayah, uh, especially this one, which we did. Uh, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains that why, how you will become muttaqeen basari una. It starts from here. Uh, yes. 114, 15. Bama khairin. We started from here. And then in the Lazina Kafaru, the one who did Kufar, and how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala explains the one who uh, that they spend in their life, whatever charity they give, it's not being accepted because of their faith. And it's frozen like a like um, which strikes a, like a freezing wind which strikes and destroys everything which have done they have done. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in ayah number which we have done just now explains. That now, what you have to do, make friends which give you benefit, which are benefited in dunya and akhra. We always pray for salihin, that Allah may give us the company of salihin, al-hikni bi salihin. So always we should remember that we should always ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that this dua, we should always be, remember to, Ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that give us the company of Salihin. Rabbi habli hukman wal hikni bis Salihin. O my Lord, grant me authority and join me with the righteous. And grant me grant me the repetition of honor among later generations. Vajalli lisana sitkin fil akhirin. Vajalli min barasatil jannatin naeem. Wala tukhzini yawma yubhasun. Surat al-Shura, ayah number 83 to 87. Okay, find out this dua and then share it. This is your homework. Find out this dua, Surah Ashura, ayah number 83 to 87, and share it with us. Barakallah fi, jazakallah khair, subhanakallah humma wa bihamdika, ashadu Allah ilaha illa anta, astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Allah may grant us the best friendship on this world so that when we go from this world, from this dunya, when we go, go back, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we should have best of best. Okay, jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Thank you for coming, Maham. We missed you.